Welcome to Sean Story. Story time videos for kids every day of the week. Today's story is Splat the Cat Meets Dad Glad by Rob Scott. On Sunday morning, Splat ate his favorite food, fish fed and read Super Cat Comics. Splat felt really glad. Then Splat's dad sat down with a small frown. What's wrong, dad? asked Splat. Our soccer team lost our big game last night and I'm a tad sad, said his dad. Oh no, cried Splat. He thought his dad must be feeling very bad Splat's dad loves soccer. He was the captain of his team. I have to cheer up dad. I think he's feeling really sad. I'll find out what makes him glad by looking at old photos. Look at this Seymour. It's dad and granddad winning the three-legged race when dad was just a lad. I know just what to do to make dad glad. I'll sign us up for Cat School Game Day. We'll play lots of games and we'll win the three-legged race. I'll make Dad proud. I'll show him I'm quick and strong just like he and Granddad were. Splat, what are you doing? Little Sis asked. I have a brilliant plan to make Dad glad and I'll practice with Seymour, cried Splat. Hmm, said little sis, your plan isn't half bad. What could possibly go wrong, said Splat as he ran. Oops, said Splat, landing with a thump. His tail nodded up with worry, but he put on a brave face. I know what to do, I wear my lucky shoelace. The big day finally came and Splat felt really glad. He and Seymour had practiced the three-legged race every day. The field behind cat school was crowded with cats of all ages. Kitten was there and so was Plank. And of course Spike was there too. Spike strutted over to Splat and grinned a big toothy grin. I can't wait for the games to begin. My mom and I are going to win, win, win. Splat's whiskers wilted just a bit. My dad and I are going to win the three-legged race, said Splat. I've been practicing, and I'm wearing my lucky shoelace. No way, Splat, sneered Spike. A coach helped us train for the race. All you have is one lucky shoelace. First came the wheelbarrow race. Yay, Splat and his dad were ahead. And then they weren't. Ow! Splat howled. I have a thorn in my paw pad. Splat! Splat said, I'm sorry, Dad. That's okay, son, Splat's dad replied. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. But Splat wondered if his dad might be a tad mad. Don't worry, Dad, said Splat. We still have the three-legged race, and we won't lose that. Now we have the egg toss. Eggs started to fly. Splat and Dad lined up for the egg toss. Splat caught his dad's egg and smiled. Splat tossed the egg back. It was the perfect throw. Oops. Another egg was headed straight for his dad. Look out, yelled Splat. His dad looked up in surprise and two eggs hit him at once. Egg yolk ran down his shirt. Splat's dad did not look glad. It's okay, dad, said Splat. There's still the big race. Finally, it was time for the three-legged race. Get ready, get set, 
Go! Splat's teacher, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple, blew the whistle. Off Splat went with his dad. The pair passed Plank, they passed Kitten, they even passed Spike, and they were far in the lead when Splat felt something go wrong. Splat's lucky shoelace had come untied. Splat went rolling, so did his dad. They went tumbling, tumbling down the hill until... Splat! Splat and his dad fell with a splash into a pond. They spluttered and spat. They floundered and splashed. Finally, they were able to stand up, covered from head to paw in lily pads. I am so sorry, Dad. I made you soggy and mad. Then Splat stared at his dad. His dad wasn't mad. His dad was laughing. Splat, I'm not mad. But you and Granddad won a trophy, and we came in last, says Splat. I don't care about winning. This is the most fun I've ever had. Yippee, said Splat. I did it. I made my dad glad. She sat on Rooster's birthday cake. Oh, no. <laughs>